Here's a little video to help you get through algebra worksheet number three. So algebra is basically an equation where there's an x or an unknown. It can be y, z, it can be any letter. It's we don't know what this number is. And the thing you have to remember about an algebra is that it's an equation that you want to maintain balance. So I have drawn this scale here to show you what I mean. Notice that my scale is level, it's balanced. I have the same amount of weight on the left side, same amount of weight on the white side, right side. And if we looked at this equation here, <clears throat> 2 plus 3 equals 5, you would notice that 2 plus 3 is 5. So I have a 5 on the left side, and I have a 5 on the right side. So my equation is balanced. You're always looking to balance an equation in algebra. Okay, we're going to look at this equation, x minus 7 equals 19, and we're going to work on the steps that we need to solve algebra equations. The first thing I want to think about is that I want to isolate the variable, and that means I want to keep x by itself, and I want to get the rest of the numbers attached to it over to the other side. That's our goal. So we look at what's keeping that number to the unknown. What is keeping that 7 to the x? And we can see that it's this negative sign, this subtraction sign here. So let's do the opposite. A negative 7, the opposite is a positive 7. So I'm going to add 7 to this side. Keep in mind our balance, right? If I add 7 to the left side of the equation, is it going to keep our scale balanced? No. So I have to add 7 to the right side of the equation. When I have a negative 7 and a positive 7 here, these cancel out. It's like having no money in the bank and then putting a deposit in. Okay, it's, If I was in the hole $7 and I deposit $7, I am now at zero. Yay! This brings down my x. I haven't used him or done anything with him. I bring down my equal sign. And then I have 19 plus 7, which is 26. And I can always check my algebra equations to see if I'm correct. If I took 26 and I subtracted 7, would I get 19? Yes or no? Yes. So I have balanced my equation. I'm good. Let's look at some algebra equations that deal with decimals. And we're pretty familiar with decimals. We deal with money all the time. It's the same steps. Isolate the variable. Keep that x there. Look at what is connected to the x. It's a negative 13.2. Do the opposite. Opposite of a negative is a positive. So I'm going to add 13.2 to this side. If I add it to the left, I have to add it to the right. And notice I am lining up my decimal numbers. Whenever you add or subtract, you line up your decimal numbers. This left side cancels out, leaving me with just x. 3 plus 0 is 3. 7 plus 2 is 9. Bring my decimal point down. 7 and 3. So my answer is 37.93. And I could put this 37.93 back in and check my work to see if it actually does balance. And I'm going to line up my numbers. Twenty-four point seven three, yes. So that means we're doing a good job. Let's look at one let's look at one more problem with algebra. Isolate our variable. Do the opposite of a negative four, which is add four. Notice this is a whole number in here. I have a decimal, so I have to make sure that I put in a decimal point at the end. Think of whole numbers as money, four dollars and zero cents. So my answer is 16.1. 16.1 minus 4 is 12.1.